Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at two-way ANOVA and what we're going to do is work with an inbuilt data set called Warp Breaks. Okay, so in this data set we're going to use two categorical variables and we're also going to look at uh, the two, uh, two the, the response variable here is breaks, okay, and the categorical variables are wool and tension. Okay, so let's quickly have a look at warp breaks. I don't need to install it or anything, it's an inbuilt data set. There we have it there, breaks, wool, and tension. Actually, just a sort of quick remark, actually, just watch out for the capitals. I have it written with capitals there, but I should not. Okay, uh, let's also have a quick look at the summary. Okay, uh, the summary of warp breaks. There we go. Now, okay, so that's the so summary. Numeric variable breaks, and we have uh, cate two categorical variables, wool and tension. There's two levels of wool, A and B, and there's three levels of tension, L, M, and H, low, medium, high, okay? Now, you might notice there that, first off, we have, I'm just going to paste this here, some notes here written on the side. We have six treatment groups, okay? So there's six possible combinations between wool and tension. So you can have A, L, A, M, A, H, B, L, B, M, B, H, and so on. There are 54 observations altogether. You could probably just uh, count up uh, 27 plus 27 or 18 plus 18 plus 18. Now, uh, thinking, thinking about that, that means that there's replicate measurements in each treatment group, okay? That there's nine measurements, essentially. And so what we're going to do is, uh, when we're creating our model, we are going to use a uh, interaction effect. Okay, so that's grand. So what we're going to use is this command, AOV, okay? And it's similar to linear models you've probably seen before, in that we have response variable explained by two categorical variables. Okay, so first off what I'm going to do is create model 1, okay, and in this model, I'm just going to, I'll actually write it out here, in this model, I'm just going to call it model underscore 1, and this is AOV of breaks explained by wool and tension, okay, where the data is warp breaks. Okay. Now, what I've not done here, and this is a sort of a potential oversight, but this is pro something you're probably well used to so far. So I'm just going to start here so far, uh, what we have here so far. So model 1, and let's get the summary of that. There we are, we have wool and tension. Now, so this is the main effect for wool. Okay, and we can see that it's not significant based on this p-value here. That's the p-value. Probably the test statistic being greater uh, than f, <laughs> and a uh, probability of a of a, a random value being greater than the test statistic is actually is what I should say. Also, we have tension, another main effect, and then we get onto residuals. There's actually no um, interaction effect here. I, I didn't specify it yet. Okay. So it's wool tension residuals. That's uh, if we had no replicate measurements, this is probably as far we, as we would be able to go. But we do have replicate measurements, so let's see if we can go further and in include a interaction effect. So what do we do? Let's have this model again. I'm going to call this model two now. And what I'm going to do here first off is write in a long form way. So we're going to add in an interaction effect: wool tension. Okay, and so the data warp breaks just goes off the side there. Okay, but it's still there. So I just added in this interaction effect. If you're familiar with this, just bear with me. Okay, so that's the interaction effect. Looking at the summary, model two. There we are. There is our interaction effect. Okay, so the the there is a. Uh, a, a main effect for wool, it's not significant, but just look at this little dot here. It starts, uh, it's getting close to it. Don't be too um, uh, 
the, the, like the five percent thing is or whatever threshold you're using is very arbitrary okay so that little dot there sort of means that it's not significant but you know that's probably might be due to the data if you can run an experiment again try and get more data that's the main effect for a wall so anyway in the, in the clearly uh, it just is sort of uh, uh, put it simply it's not significant even though it's close to it the main effect for tension is significant okay and the main effect f or the interaction effect between wool and tension is also fairly significant okay so there does seem to be an interaction between wool and tension that's different um, combinations of wool and tension uh, will sort of act uh, like the, the big dependency on what type of wool what type of tension it is that's essentially that the variables are not independent okay just as something else to sort of keep in mind actually the degrees of freedom is one minus the number of levels so the levels of wool are a and b so there's two levels and therefore two minus one is one there are three levels of tension low medium and high so three minus one is two the interaction effect, the degrees of freedom for the interaction effect is the multiple of this plus this, okay? And so it's 1 times 2, so that gives us 2, okay? And altogether, 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 48 would add up to 53, which is the overall sample size, minus 1. Okay, so that is uh, how to guess, the, uh, how to create a model with the interaction effect but I'm just going to do one more thing here I'm going to go back here and what I'm going to do is you notice that's quite long it actually goes off the side of the page I am actually going to uh, show you a different way of writing the same uh, model okay this is how we might write it now I'm going to just quickly get the summary of that first off That's exactly as the same, uh, the, the exact same as model two. Essentially, what this does is spot specifies wool as a main uh, effect, tension as a main effect, and it also will allow for the interaction effect of those two. So this actually create uh, specifies three effects: main effect for wool, main effect for tension, and the interaction effect between wool and tension. So that little asterisk there is what is what that does. So that's uh, by the way. So uh, again not significant although close main effect for wall significant effect for tension and a significant interaction effect okay so and um, that's it